Hello, welcome to our channel. This week we have a part two kitchen renovation video and uh, as you could see in the previous video, we uh, previous kitchen video, we had just uh, put all the cabinets in, all the rails that the cabinets are hanging off in and that was pretty much all we did in, in one week's time. So this week we had to do all the cabinet doors, all the integrated appliances and all that was actually really complicated and it took us a long time. So that was pretty much all we focused on this week. So in this video you will see how we fitted our cabinet doors, all the drawers and the integrated fridge, integrated dishwasher, the oven and the hob. We did also do try to do the kitchen sink and the tap and, and cutting the hole in the countertop, but that was a really, really big fail. And for that, I am dedicating a whole video on that separately. So today we'll have a extra bonus video. Let's get into the video and see how it went. So this is basically the aftermath of two weekends of doing kitchen. This is how far we are. We have all the doors here, we have microwave, we have fridge. This is the dishwasher that we just got yesterday from uh, Media Markt. And uh, we also have here the hob. Where did we get it? Uh, I don't know, can't remember. I think this one was from Conforama. Yeah, this was from Conforama. They had a good discount on this one. So yeah, this is where we are at after another weekend. Does not look like we've done anything much but put the doors in. One Saturday, almost all day, was just to fit this integrated fridge in because uh, I don't know it's maybe because we never done it before or is it just quite, quite complicated but it was really hard to align the doors and then the fridge inside needs to be aligned and then we need to see then we need to fit this system that is like here as you can see you know this is what makes it integrated it's kind of a slider system see it slides and then these upper cabinets, the putting in the doors, the hinges here were really easy. They were barely any screws, I think, to put in. So it was just really good method. That was that went very easily. I don't think there was nothing much to align. Then we had a bit of problem when we put this microwave in. We put it in. Then we realized that we need to put this side panel in which needs to be attached to the inside of the cabinet. So I had to take it all out. We had it all screwed in already. So that was a bit of a struggle. And then, yeah, and here with the sink unit, we had to cut the hole. We haven't done the sink yet or anything, as you can see, because we wanted to put the dishwasher in first and uh, just so that there's more space to put all the tubes and everything. And um, we still need to see if we need to cut any holes for the dishwasher tubes to go. Uh, but yes, that, that's a lot of holes to cut and in some of the units. Also, the, the microwave needed to be cut because of electricity. But yeah, it's overall not complicated. It's just really patience and time that needed. This countertop is not fitted in properly yet. It, none of the cabinets are as well. We have just put everything in place to see how it's going to be. And we have realized now that um, our cabinets, together with all the countertop, are really high. And you can see they're on legs. But it's not the legs that make a difference because they are on a rail like this. And I think this, this side is the same. It's just that it, before it has any countertop, it doesn't feel as high. But yeah, I think we have put the rail in a bit too high. The main tasks this week is to finish off this side, put the dishwasher in, the sink, the countertops. Yeah, that's, that's the plan now for this week and we'll see how it goes. It's the hottest day of the year so far. 
so sorry for Fabio's nakedness. And what he's doing is trying to, I think, install the dishwasher and the sink. So we got the dishwasher. And, but you can see there's a slight difference in the, hi in the height with it. It is actually a lot lower. It has some legs here that um, you can see that you can kind of pull out a little to raise it and to level it out and and all that. But it's not enough to to raise it to the height that we have the cabinets in. So yeah, we have to raise it quite a bit and um, to make it stable, we have come up with this kind of solution. And the challenge here is we have both a dishwasher and a washing machine at the end of our cabinets. Right? As well, yeah. Which these are usually in between cabinets, which makes it a lot easier to put it. And in our case, it's at the end, which means that not only we need to raise it to bring it to the level, but then we need to have something here that actually uh, supports the lateral side panel to close these and something for the countertop to seat on top as well. So that's why in both situations we we have it more difficult than usual because it's at the end of the cabinets. Trying to install this side panel now, which is a bit of a nightmare because the dishwasher has nothing to really attach it to except one piece here. But we are using this kind of corner once against the wall, so that should that should work. Doing the dishwasher door panel, which is really, really, really hard to measure. Uh, where do you screw? But they had this kind of paper with all the instructions, and uh, then we realized, according to this picture, that it actually is the size of the the door. So you're supposed to put that paper over the door, you can mark all the holes and then you put the paper over the, your panel and then it's a bit easier. But still it's, it's still really hard and scary to drill into the wrong place and then having to, to redo it all. Each of these cabinets, each of these doors and hinges, all of these things have the kind of like a place that you can adjust easily. The moment of truth, it kind of hooks onto the door. But I think it screws as well at the back. Oh, but it's actually not as bad as I expected. We are in trouble. And Fabio is giving up on life. Spending all day trying to fit this dishwasher in. It's like half past four or five now. <laughs> we have not gotten anywhere. We put the door in, as you could see. It looked like it's fitting perfectly, but then we realized when we opened the dishwasher, our bottom is too long, so it hits here. So what we did wrong is we aligned it with the top, so that this top aligns, so that this top aligns with the top of the dishwasher, and that made the board look a lot, a lot longer. And, but it didn't, uh, it needs to go inside here when it opens. So what we're thinking now is that we cannot raise it as we were thinking, probably. We have started with this side. Um, ready to put that panel in, a little bit tricky because it had to be screwed against the wall. Didn't have, obviously we can't attach it on this washing machine. We already had the washing machine, so we wouldn't just go and buy a new one to be integrated, so we have to use it. Uh, so the panel has to be screwed to that little corner on the wall. It actually is quite stable, or it feels. Uh, and uh, yeah, now I'm putting in the, the uh, support for the oven. This board here, which is just uh, decorative, I suppose, the oven ends here. And to hide our electrical hob. And there is a little tiny drawer at the bottom. I don't know what can we store there, maybe an envelope? <laughs> no, it's for the... <laughs> yeah, an envelope. <laughs> no, it's like this, it's for the trays, oven trays. 
Come on, Bob. Oh, we need to water our garden. We need to go and open the water. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this beautiful thing. I just love how it looks. We've gotten this far already. Put the other cabinet in on the other side. Put the oven in. The washing machine is in place. The countertop is not in place yet. Still need to cut a hole there for the hob. But we just put it on to see how it looks like. And so far we are happy. Only thing is that with this washing machine now we are realizing how much it stands out actually because all the other cabinets are so nice and clean looking and the oven is more also modern and uh, the washing machine is like this right next to it so but yeah now what we have to do is we have to put all the um, all this on on all the drawers and then we have to cut the hole in the countertop again another scary moment put the hob in and i think then this side is ready on oh, the counter uh, countertop needs to be attached after as well and again, just to remind that here we won't have the upper cabinets. We will just have some open shelves and there. And oh, and then we still have to do the the exhaust. What's the right thing for it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we are so far done already. So this is what it is like today. We have uh, all, this side is pretty much finished. We have the side panel here as well. The countertop is not attached, but everything else is in its place. And the same for this side. And we still don't have the, the filler pieces. That is something we need to, to do up to the ceiling. So as you could see in the video, it was a tough one. Uh, we had lots of troubles. We still need to do a backsplash, which we had decided since the, almost the beginning what we want. We wanted uh, just a laminate panel, same as the countertop, uh, just to have like a nice and clean look. But somewhere along the way, we, we kind of started changing our minds, thinking maybe we should dial it. So we're kind of not sure what to do right now. So yeah, that is for the kitchen. Obviously, in the end, we need to still accessorize and add the lights and all these kind of things. But that is way into the future. That is it for this video. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.